What is up everyone? So today's gonna be a quick video. I'm not gonna explain too much on the customization of it, but I'm gonna show you how to get custom serum skins and also I'm gonna give you guys a download to this skin. So I basically kind of flipped everything and turned it red because I like red and you know Terran Info is red and black and white so I wanted to kind of make a skin that represented Terran Info so I flipped all these to red um, I tried to get the gradient set up so it still kind of looked with the uh, transparency so you could see the seconds through the grid and uh, stuff so I tried to make it like serum how the color schemes were but then flip it to red and then switch the dots from blue to white. We have all this here, you know, your custom wave table. If you go to effects, I was gonna keep this orange, but then I accidentally saved over it and it came out with like a light red like this. So I'm gonna leave this distortion filter as is, but I kind of left all the colored ones the same. Besides compressor, I switched the multi-band to get this nice red with the white bars. So, that's cool right there. And then the EQ, the line turned blue for some reason. I was trying to turn it um, to like a red solid line, um, but I couldn't find it. So, if you guys know which color line this is, please comment the uh, grid number like D6 or D6. A3 or whatever, and then I'll be able to edit this line, make it red, and then update the skin. So that's the only thing I want to change, but I, I was too tired last night doing all the trial and error. For some reason, I couldn't figure out like the I got the red line and like the shade of the red, but see how it kind of like fills in the gaps red. For some reason, I couldn't figure out which square that was, and it was like this weird mustard brown in between the, the wave table, so it looked pretty ugly. But I'm happy with how it came out. If you go to Matrix, I got the line turned to red too, and all the curves, you know, are red. This is like a green still. I was looking to get um, a white dot or like a gray dotted, so that's also another update that I may do to the skin. But for now, it's pretty much that's how it is. So if you want this skin, go ahead and click that link in the description. And it will be inside that Dropbox folder. So if you already have access to the Dropbox folder and you know what I'm talking about, go inside there and there will be a new folder called Serum Custom Skins. And then in the folder Tarrant Info will be the skin folder. So let's go into how to actually make this though. So you're going to have to go to xfurrecords.com and go to forums. Make sure you have an account. Otherwise you can't access these forums. So once you're in here, you go down to color map and custom skins. Now in here, it tells you kind of basically how to do it and stuff. But I'm going to explain this part to you. So you want to click this link. And you're going to want to download this zip. And it's going to have the tools and the map for you. So you download this. All right, serum color map. So you have your color map. And then you have the description. So the description right here is kind of like your map, your treasure map. And it, it's pretty well laid out, except these aren't like transparent. It's hard to tell it's transparent. I guess the ones with like the dots on them maybe. But so like here's the grid. And these are all the color plots that Serum uses. So it knows if you're using B13, whatever uses B13 is going to be this color. It's a weird kind of like treasure map thing. So, but these are the main ones right here. The green for the wavetable and then the gradients of the wavetable to, you know, fill it in because it's not just green. It's like green and then dark green. So it kind of fades. So if you look, I have red and then like a dark red, not quite black, but like a dark red. So it goes through, but then they're also transparent colors. So then that way you could see through the grid. So I'm going to show you guys how to set that up and what I suggest you guys use to edit it. So you have all that. Now you have your treasure map open. How do you edit it? So you're going to have to go into color map and you're going to open it. Hopefully it opens it with what I want to open it with. No, it's just going to be the color viewer. Okay. So 
I'm gonna go pretend this is brand new. You go to documents. Expert. This is also where you're gonna save it to once you actually have it saved. This here in presets. Skins. And then you make a new folder. Each folder is gonna be a new skin. This is theirs. It's all a little different if you wanna edit your fonts and stuff. But if you go to Terran Info, this is the skin that I'm using. And this is literally all it is to create the skin. So let's let's take a look at what I'm using. So if we go open, now I, I used Photoshop and for some reason when I was trying to like map out the pixel squares, it was pulling off the neighbors with it when I was painting them and as well as filling the squares. And I didn't like that. I turned the tolerance down to one and zero and it still was doing it. Paint, I couldn't do transparency. It worked good, but the transparent uh, paint did not come out. So I ended up using Snagit Editor. I believe there's a free version or at least like a trial. So you could uh, make this real quick, but Snagit and I, I use all the products. I got Camtasia and Snagit, all, all four. And it works really good. So I'm hoping this opens up nice and easy. Okay, so see how it's super, super small? You're wanna gonna zoom in to 2000%. This is kinda like as big as you're gonna get. But now you can see all the squares, see how they're transparent and stuff. But what I like about uh, the Snagit Studio, I was able to get my basic colors up here and then keep making transparency lighter and lighter of them and make darker ones of them and then save them. So all my palette is right here. These are all my reds for the skin. And then I could, you know, fill in the squares that I wanted to change. So this is my skin. You see kind of like there's no more green. It's all red now, a lot of the yellows are gone. Um, most of the oranges I could take off are gone. And then I accidentally took off the uh, the distortion filter ones too. So those are uh, a red tint now, but that's my skin. So once you fill it out and customize it, you gotta count it. So, you know, these are the letters, A through uh, I think G or H, probably H. And then uh, one through, what is it? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you got 16 numbers all the way to H, I2. So I12, and then you got that red bar just closing it out. Um, okay, so that is kind of how you do it. You just kind of got to read what the square is, and it's kind of confusing. That's why it took me a while to finish my skin. I really haven't memorized all this yet, so I can't really just jump in and really customize one. Um, but after toying around and trial and error, I was able to make a skin that I thought represented Terran Info, and that is what I did. So now once you save that color, so you say that was the one you opened up in that folder you downloaded, you're going to have to save it into this li um, library's documents. Here, I'll just go like this so you can see it. So that's my my thing. It's going to be in your documents, X for Serum presets and then skins and then you create a new folder label it whatever you want the skin to be called and then you save that color uh, map inside that folder so now once you're done you go inside serum rescan folder on disk and then you could also keep resaving over it so like if you're making edits and updates you keep resaving it then you rescan and skin turn info boom That's going to be it for today. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment them down below and hopefully I'll be able to help you out or go ahead and comment on the xforrecords.com serum forum and they will definitely be able to help you out. It's been a great community over there and they really want to help you and not just buy this and we're going to ignore you. Um, no, they really care about you over there at Serum and Xford Records. They make quality products and they actually update it and listen to the users. So. That's my tutorial on making custom skins in Serum. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe, click that like button, turn your notifications on. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.